first piece of art that you connected with? It was actually in Australia. We, we had just been transferred there to live for like three years and we flew into the international airport in Brisbane and I mean the art within the medium of what I do. Is that what you're asking? Me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, and they had the most gorgeous floor inlays of mosaic but done in a much more modern styling and it was like I gotta do this. You know, and so I really researched it, found the people who actually did the work, and, and um, things started happening. What was the first piece of art that you made? It was a very ridiculously ambitious piece, and it was a three by five foot tabletop that I did for my son, who was at the time about two and a half years old. And it was his very, very early childhood memories. You know, the, the fact that he loved to fly, loved to ride on trains, the first logo of the first school he ever went to. And I still have that table, which is kind of fun. It's a family heirloom piece. What kind of materials do you use in your work? Predominantly glass mosaic. Uh, however, I do uh, use other materials that are more three-dimensional. I work with glass blowers who make special pieces for me, but for the most part my my medium is glass. Okay, and what's your process a little bit? Can you describe your process when you're um, starting to do a piece? Well, it's a multi-step. Uh, the first thing I do is make the determination as to whether I'm doing a series or a singular piece, whatever the case may be, and then uh, I work on boxes, typically that are like two inches deep or an inch deep and I draw it all out always giving myself permission to change it up if I choose to so I, I draw it out and then I start choosing the color palette you know pulling out from all these containers you know the different glass pieces and so forth and it's a multi-step process from that point forward when you're not working, do you ever have time to read? And if so, what are your favorite books? I do read. I, I'm a big magazine reader, and I need to be a better book reader. But a book that had a profound effect on me was Fountainhead, and it's a classic. And I loved that book. I think I probably read it three times when I was a very young girl. And there have been many, many since then, but Fountainhead has always been a book that stood out for me.